Hey guys, welcome to Horror and Me. I'm your host, Darren Mitchell. And on today's video, we're going to be doing a very special unboxing to me. This is something that I picked up that I've been waiting for for a while now. Uh, I placed my order a little over a month ago and it just got to me. It came all the way from Japan. And if you guys have followed my channel for a while, you guys know that I'm also into retro gaming besides horror. I really like to play fighting games and I have a lot of the old systems and I collect Sega Genesis. But there's a lot of games that I've wanted to play that I haven't played since I was a kid. I'm really into Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, Altered Beast, Slug, games like that. And for a while now I've been kind of researching uh, building my own retro arcade cabinet with maybe a MAME system where I can get thousands and thousands of games. But those kinds of systems are very expensive. You're looking upwards of two, three thousand dollars to build something like that. So I kind of been researching and waiting for the right moment to find something that would satisfy my yearning for that. So this package that we're going to be opening today is hopefully going to satisfy that that craving that I've had to play these games again. So what we have here is a gigantic package. So let's not waste any time. Let's get right into this. I'll explain what this is. Then we'll get down close, take a look at it, and then let's demo it out a little bit. So let's just uh, open this bag up first and take a look. <clears throat> there are a bunch of different variations of what I'm gonna show you. I wanna open it up because in different parts of the world, like in Japan in, partic in particular, uh, this system is called different things. I believe this is going to be the, um, I need my knife here. This is going to be the Pandora's Box 5S, or it's going to be the Pandora's Box 4S with an upgrade. But what we're going to have here is something that can play a thousand arcade games from the late 70s all the way up through the 2000s. So all of your Marvel Capcom games, they have a ton of um, SNK games, stuff like that. So let me just get into this. I'm going to get this open, and then we'll take a peek at the box here. This is like heat shrunk on here. <clears throat> okay. So, we have the plastic removed now. So this is the box, and on the box it just says high definition home game machine. Uh, basically the selling point for this for me was that it is convertible to HDMI, so it has an HDMI output. So all these old games will look crispy and nice and clear on the screen. So, and you can use any television or monitor. It takes VGA as well. So let's open this up and take a look. I guess I don't need my knife for this part. I'm so excited, guys. This is something that I've wanted for a long time. The coolest part about this, and you'll see in a second, is you can play with somebody else. The only thing I don't think it does, I know it does with the wireless systems, but is connecting online or using it with other systems like an Xbox or a um, <clears throat> PlayStation 4. So we have the power cable here. <clears throat> uh, we have a USB cable that came with this. We have an HDMI cable. Uh, this is the VGA, if you would like to plug it into a monitor. We have some extra buttons, like arcade buttons. Set that down. Uh, instruction manual. It's going to be in Japanese, so I'm not even going to try. <laughs> um, foam. I'll move that aside. Wow, this is beautiful. Uh, a lot of these uh, have different artwork depending on where you get it and which region. Uh, I decided to go with the Ryu version. Ken's my favorite, but when I saw the Ryu, I had to get it as well. Let me just make sure this is everything in the box. Yep, that's everything in the box. So what's cool about this and why this was a huge selling point for me, and I'm going to recommend this to you guys uh, as well, is it's so compact. And it again, it has a thousand games. This one's 999 games. The 4S, I think, was 800. And then there was a previous version, I think it was around 600. But this is the entire unit. Check out this bad boy. So as you can see, one player, two player, got all the buttons. Uh, on the back here, we're getting close. You guys can see the on-off switch here. 
uh, power cable, what is this? HDMI, VGA, audio, you can also plug headphones into this if you don't want the volume. It does also have speakers on this, so the volume will come out of this, but you can plug in through your, uh, through the jack, plug in your own speakers if you would like, uh, the volume control, and also USB ports. You guys can see there. The other nice thing about this is you can open it up. Okay, so this one is one of the older versions, so it doesn't have the latches. So you actually have to remove the three screws on the front here, and then you can pop this out. And you can replace these with uh, higher quality joysticks as well as buttons if you want. Some people I read up said that they tend to not be as responsive until you do an upgrade. I'm going to test it out myself. I looked up the uh, replacement parts online. You can get a kit with the two joysticks and all the buttons for like $20. So... And that's for the higher end stuff. So this is the machine. Very, very excited to use this. Uh, this also lights up and will color. It'll be like a bunch of different colors. So once I get this all set up into the TV, uh, I'll show you guys how it's, how it's lit up first. And then we'll look at the TV and we'll scroll through the games. All right, guys. So we have it all set up here now and plugged into the TV. I'm just going to power it up so you guys can see how it kind of glows. It's got a fan that starts to run, but you can see it's starting to change color from blue to purple, and then it'll start coming on the screen and give you the welcome screen. So you guys can see the speaker is very nice. You can control the volume. It gets pretty loud. Okay, so it is the Pandora's Key 5S that it's showing. Okay, so like I said, in different regions of the world, it will be different things. This is the Pandora's Box, uh, Pandora's Key Box 5S. Uh, sometimes it might be labeled as Pandora's Box 5S. Uh, so yeah, so let's uh, look at the screen now. I'm going to change the camera's direction so we can take a look at some of these games. So we're all set up now. I have the camera pointing at the screen so you guys can check it out. Um, but this is number one. Uh, if you hit down on the controller, it will, it will uh, scroll one by one. If you hit right or left, it'll go page by page. But as you can see, one of my favorite games ever, Alien vs. Predator, Aliens. I mean, there's just a ton of awesome games on this. Altered Beast. Uh, we'll go page by page just so you guys can see. Arcadia. They have like all the art of fighting games. And what's cool is when you go to it, it will kind of give you like a demo of the game so you can kind of check it out. Uh, what else we got here? <clears throat> Badlands is good. Uh, they have the Batman, Arcade. What else do we got here? I'll just scroll through all the games so you guys can see the games first, and then we'll play a couple. Boulder Dash, that was a popular one. Bucky O'Hare. Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, another awesome game. Let's see, Centipede. Uh, Congo Bongo, Contra. I mean, it's just got so many things. This is definitely something that I've been looking for, and the price is very, very reasonable. I decided to order this from Japan because I found that if I did it directly through Japan, I could get it for a few hundred dollars cheaper. Uh, I paid $210 for this, so super reasonable. Uh, Double Dragon, Double Dragon 3. What else we got? I mean, so many awesome games, and we're only at $230. Let's see. Fatal Fury. Again, I'm getting I got this mainly for the fighting games. Galaga. Uh, they pretty much Golden Axe. Let me go back to that. Another amazing game for Sega. I love Golden Axe. Let's see here. <clears throat> Uh, Hyper Street Fighter. I think it has most of the Street Fighters on here. Jackie Chan. Uh, 
Juno first. This game is awesome. I have this game on my 80s arcade cabinet down in my studio where I do my art. Um, let's see here. King of the Monsters, another awesome series of games. Let's see here. King of Fighting pretty much has all of them. Really, really awesome. I can't wait to get into this and just play nonstop. I mean, you can see all of Kung Fu Master. Let's see, Marvel Super Heroes. Another reason I wanted a lot of these Capcom games that I remember playing in the arcades. So yeah, th these are the ones I really wanted to play. I wanted to play the original Street Fighter, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, Marvel vs. Street Fighter. They even have the Mega Man games. The Metal Slug games are awesome if you've ever played those. Really fun shooters. Let's see what else we got. They pretty much have all the Metal Slugs. Millipede. I mean, it's kind of all over the place. Like I said, from the late 70s all the way up through the 2000s. They even have uh, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker on here, which is a funny game. Uh, some of these I've never played before. Well, that's what I mean, like for like 200 bucks to be able to get a thousand games, be able to play it in your house in a lightweight system. And I, again, this is all one unit. You can take this over to a friend's house. All you need is a TV with an HDMI output or a VGA, and you're good to go. Samurai Showdown, another classic. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's just so many good ones. This, they even have a Simpsons game. And again, the best part is that everything is in HD, HDMI. You're not going to get that uh, old school stuff. SNK versus Capcom. SNK versus Capcom Plus. Snow Brothers is another classic. Sonic the Hedgehog, if you want to get to the early Sega, J Sega days. Uh, more Street Fighter, Street Fighter Alpha. Street Fighter 3 Alpha. Uh, Striker, Strike Gunner, Super Bubble Bobble. Bobble Bobble, let's see, Super Mario Brothers, if you want to go classic. So many Street Fighters. I love Street Fighter. It's one of my favorite fighting games, so the fact that it has pretty much all of them on here was a huge selling point for me. Super X, classic Tetris. We're getting towards the end here now. Thrash Rally, that's another classic. I remember playing that a lot. Time Pilot's another one I remember playing. Track and Field, Turbo Force, Outrun, it's another good one. Vampire Hunter, these are awesome games. I actually didn't even know they had a Vampire Hunter 2. So I'll definitely be hitting that up. Vigilante. Okay, we're almost at the end now. Willow. Oh, that's awesome. I've never played this game before. That looks like that looks really cool. Okay, let's see. They have pro wrestling on here too. They have the X-Men games. X-Men vs. Street Fighter. All in the uh, 1942, 1943, 1944. And that's it. 999 games, you guys. Very, very cool. Let's just get into one just so we can hear how it sounds. Uh, let's just play Street Fighter for a little bit. Uh, let me start over. And there is a way in the settings that you can change uh, your favorites to be on a list so you don't have to scroll through all the time, which is really nice. Once you figure out what you want, I have to play around with it a little bit more to figure it out, but that is a good feature to have. 
I don't know if I want to do Hyper Street Fighter. I just want Street Fighter 2. And if I suck, I haven't played in a while, so don't make fun of me. But, Sagat, or Sagat, is my favorite. Did I miss it? No, that should be coming up now. Uh, yeah, let's just play Champion Edition Street Fighter 2. So we're going to accept. But yeah, the audio quality is really good coming through this box. So let's see. I can tell you already the buttons and the joystick are very responsive. Round one. Oh man, I haven't used a joystick in a while. There was a little bit of a delay there. Did you guys see that? Hey guys, welcome back. So I just want to say thank you for tuning in to this semi-review of the Pandora's Key 5S. If you guys are interested in getting one for yourself, I would recommend going on eBay. If you go through Amazon or a place like that, you're probably going to pay double the price for it. If you're not concerned so much about waiting, I would definitely recommend doing an international through Japan and trying to find it that way. That's what I did. Again, it was like half as expensive doing it that way. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I could play this all night. I probably will. So I just want to show you guys a little bit of what this system has to offer as far as the games and just do a little bit of that Street Fighter gameplay. So I want to say thanks, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Hey, thanks for watching my video. If you guys enjoyed this content and would like to see future episodes of Horror and Me, please subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to keep in contact with me to see more of my content, you can check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Just search Horror and Me. See you guys next time.